right, Colleen, we started the day off with the wind, the rain, but then today actually turned out to be a beautiful day. It was gorgeous. Oh, yeah, complete. 180? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, we're it's full circle here. We are back to that beautiful weather, feeling like November, looking like November. Fall like, I like it. Yeah, yeah. especially for the football. jacket. You yeah. don't want to be warm in a football mm -hmm. game. No, you know? that's no fun. So, yeah, you got to yeah. cheer, you know, you get the sweat on while you're cheering. No yeah. fun. No fun yeah. when it's hot. So, we're back to that crisp feel, and we have a nice viewer photo. Aaron, Ooh. I was talking about, yeah, look at that. That's Isn't nice. That nice. Look, the leaves are changing color. Nice. You're right. Yeah. Like orange. It's like orange red. Yeah. yeah. This was submitted by Arthur James no, he didn't tell me where it was though. So Arthur, check your email, I emailed you back. Hey, if you ever wanna send your pictures to us, all you gotta do is type in weather at cbs19.tv and we'll get it. Or you can text us 903-600-2600. That's what Arthur did and I got that picture right in time to put it on the air. I love sharing your pictures, so please do it anytime. Now, current temperatures in the lower 60s, upper 50s across East Texas. We're getting cooler and the sky is now dark. Sunset at 5.30, that's not helping us. Also, we have the air coming in from the north northwest since that uh, system moved through early this morning, which, by the way, did uh, have some brief tornadoes with it. I just put that information on our Facebook page and our Twitter page if you want to check that out. An EF0 and EF1 over in Harrison County just before or just after midnight early this morning. But nice and dry right now, calm conditions. Let's expand the picture. There's the remnants of our front now moving into the northeast. So it's out of our hair. We no longer have to deal with it. Uh, winds are also becoming calmer. We have single digit wind speeds. We like to see that, but they will pick up a little bit of speed as we move in to tomorrow. Now, high school football, that's tonight, Thursday night football. We have temperatures in the upper 50s for kickoff. And then by the final snap there, we will have temperatures in the lower 50s. So you might want to wear those fall layers. Tomorrow will be even cooler for those games. Nice hot chocolate type of weather. Uh, forecasted overnight lows in the lower 40s, especially for those areas out to the west there. And then we do have in mid 40s out to the east heading towards Louisiana. Um, future wind gust speed, as I mentioned, tomorrow could be breezy at times. Gusts up to 20 miles per hour, which is just cake compared to what we had this morning. This morning we had gusts 50, 60 miles per hour in some spots and of course some rotation, which allowed those tornadoes to form. Um, Friday for tomorrow, we have plentiful sunshine. It will be a kind of chilly morning when you compare it to the last couple of mornings. Our Temperatures will be in the mid 40s for tomorrow. I'm sorry, but it is November, so we can't complain too much. Now, daytime high in the lower 70s. Now, if you're out in the sun tomorrow, it will feel great. But if you're in the shade, of course, it will be cooler. And don't forget, sun sets around 522. Seven-day forecast here brought to you by Baylor, Scott & White. We have temperatures that are going to be all right tomorrow. Uh, but then Saturday, what's going on there? Daytime high in the lower 60s. And the morning temperature, uh-oh, we're in the upper 30s. What's happening? Well, we have a weak, moisture-starved cold front that's kind of reinforcing cooler air in the region, at least for Saturday. Sunday, slow improvement. We're in the lower 40s, similar to our tomorrow, lower 70s. And then look at this. Monday onward, we start to warm up into the mid-70s. By Wednesday, we're making a run for 80. And then we have a system that comes on through for Thursday that could cool us down once again. Again, this is brought to you by Baylor Scott & White.